Hi, welcome to Yahoo TV's new things on the block. I'm Edward. Where's the block? Well, latest public health advice is for us to be out in the sun in a well-ventilated place. So where better to be than the Singapore Zoo? So we're here today to see if we can find any baby animals. Let's find out. Okay, so you might be wondering, what are we doing here at the zoo? Here's the thing, in 2019, there were over 660 babies and hatchlings representing 121 species welcomed to our wildlife parks in Singapore. It's the four wildlife parks, Jurong Bird Park, Night Safari, River Safari, and the Singapore Zoo. And out of these, 25 of these species are threatened in the wild. So the work they're doing here with regards to breeding, really important. Okay, let's talk monkeys. So the Duke Langurs, they're really actually very small by themselves. The adults are already quite tiny. So you might be thinking, oh, that's the baby. No, it's not. The baby's even smaller. It's really quite cute, but quite hard to spot because uh, this exhibit actually does mimic their natural habitat quite well. But you might be able to see that he's involved in some play. If that's playing, yeah, they're quite human. So those are the Duke Langurs. They're actually indigenous to the area around Vietnam, Laos and Cambodia. So over at Reptopia, this is one of the two, first two crocodile monitor hatchlings ever at the Singapore Zoo. And you might be wondering about the name. Uh, they're not crocodiles, they're actually a sort of subspecies of monitor lizards. And the adults are actually quite famous because they can actually stand on their hind legs and walk. The indigenous people who used to see them actually called them walking devils. Also, check out those keepers. Wow. I am totally in awe of the zookeepers here. So you can see the white rhinoceros calf here, Dahlia. She's actually the Singapore Zoo's 24th white rhino calf. You can see how happy she is galloping around, running like crazy. While her parents just like, oh, I'm gonna eat this. And you see that sphere over there? That's actually her toy. She can move it around. She's really, really adorable. And it's really testament to the breeding program here that she's so happy and there's so many that's been born at the Singapore Zoo over the years. So here at the Singapore Zoo, we are blessed with great breeding pairs. So Hikmat, tell us, how do you know when they're ready to go? Okay, uh, so the first sign will be like uh, when we see or uh, when we observe that the male will be like chasing after the female. So, so we know that, okay, there's a, the first signs of like the female is on his dress and yeah. Just let the magic happen. If you know that they're ready to go, any special steps do you need to take? You need to set up a candlelight dinner for them? <laughs> Actually, no. Uh, we provide them with comfortable and enough space in the exhibit. Mm. And yeah, just let them do what let comes nature take its course. Yeah. Ah, nice. <laughs> so this is one of the three West Indian manatee calves that was born in 2019. They're over at River Safari's Amazon Flooded Forest exhibit and what they're doing here is something called medical conditioning. So they're swabbing on all the disinfectant and maybe poking the extremities of the manatee a little bit just to get them used to getting their blood taken. They're not actually going to draw any blood right now, they're just doing this to get them used to that feeling because the younger they are, the more the vets actually need to check on them and take blood samples to do tests. So this is actually very important as part of making sure that they stay healthy. Okay, if you want to talk about success at breeding, this is the Night Safari's 31st Malayan tapir calf. Her name is Sutira. She's about seven months old now. And when she was younger than this, actually, she had a different colored coat. It was like a dark colored with dappled with white spots, but now she's transitioned into the same colour as her mom, And she's actually about to make her debut on the tram route of the night safari, so you'll be able to see her with her mom. She's very cute lah. It's very amazing. You look at how happy they are eating all the treats that the keeper's feeding them. So, that's all from us here at the zoo. It really is, to be honest, a great time to visit. The crowds are okay, weather's not too bad, so uh, yeah, actually quite nice. Also, it's outdoors, can bring the whole family. Come get some cardio uh, or get the tram, whichever you prefer. So we've gone through the Singapore Zoo, we've gone through the River Safari and we've gone through the Night Safari also. Come and see those animals for yourself, they're really cute. Signing out for Yahoo TV's New Things on the Block.